So my hair is a bit damp because I just went to go um, for my run. And I don't like, um, and of course, you know, when you get back from exercise, you kind of you stink. So I went to take a shower. And then I've been teased about how I get in my, my PJs a little too early. And since it wasn't like, I don't think it was quite 4 o'clock when I got back. So I just threw on some clothes. Plus I wanted to make it. Well, actually, no. At the time, I wasn't thinking about it, making a video until now. Um, but, hey, everybody. So, I just finished watching Becca in the Books in her vlog, and so, and I decided to go ahead and make a video. I really, although, I really wish I knew how to make vlogs, but I don't understand. I don't know how that whole thing works, and I don't have patience for that, to figure that out. I get frustrated really easy, like, I have a temper tantrum like a child. Like, I mean, I, I'm serious. And my parents, they're not tech savvy either. I mean, they know enough, obviously, you know, living in this time period and every, you know. But they aren't really good at this kind of stuff. I mean, in fact, sometimes when things like viruses or possible viruses and stuff like that hit our computers, we have to call my uncle. So, um, I decided to make a video kind of updating you on my reading currently. And because I am like most readers, and I am very scattered brain when in a mood reader, I have so many books that I'm thinking about that I want to read, like, right now. Plus, we have a, um, another little family trip coming up. We're going back up to see my sister because my sister's husband's sister, his own sister, is getting married. And, of course, you know, where my, my parents and I are invited to the wedding. So we're going to go back up to see my sister, because they live in the same state, and um, go to the wedding. And I do that dress. I think that dress is going to be like still too, still be a little too tight on me unless I'm like really, really careful with what I eat. Um, so and so whenever and whenever we tend we take trips. Like little mini vacations, I always have. I always start thinking about, okay, what books am I gonna bring with me? And I always try to slim it down to at least four, but it never ends up going that way. So I'm always thinking about, okay, what's the next book I'm gonna? So I'm thinking about what the next book I'm gonna bring with me. And by the way, sorry if my voice sounds a lot even more nasally than usual because I'm still sick. And what's worse is now I I thought I was getting over the cold, but then on Wednesday. They asked me to come into work, so I did. And I was starting to feel that feeling of chills and achiness and feeling really tired and lethargic and everything. So apparently I wasn't done. I'm not done with my cold. And now I have this horrible tickle in my throat and this cough I can't get rid of. And I already, I was supposed to go in yesterday, yesterday was my actual scheduled day. So I was supposed to go in and then I had to call. And now I'm worried, now I'm thinking, that what if this gets worse because my um I just have the cough and my nose is still a little congested slightly congested just a little bit of mucus left over but my dad also he either he has the flu or a, or a bit of a virus so we just came we just went to the he went to the doctors today before he took me to class which actually I found out that it's fall break for us apparently at um the community college so I got there and no one's there. I felt really stupid. And my dad was like, okay, there's no one here. No one's in the parking lot. But then I had gone inside and talked to someone. And it sounded like she was saying that, yes, it's still open and everything. And it looked like there was a class going on downstairs. Because I, my class is upstairs. And I get there and all the doors are closed. You know, all the, you know, all the upstairs rooms are, the doors are closed, lights are off, so I'm looking on my phone, going to the website and everything, and then, you know how sometimes, in like, I saw a little quick little message fly by on the screen that said fall break, so I tried to get back to that, and I realized fall break was the 11th and the 12th, so school's closed for our semester, our classes, um, I mean, the actual building is open, but I guess our the people taking fall classes it's they're on a little mini break which is funny because I mean you know we had Hurricane Michael came through so with the with all that rain we got they had to close the community college down anyway so but 
I mean, most people don't have class. You don't have, like in high school and elementary school and all that, that, you know, you have class for five days a week. It's five days a week. And in college, you might only have a couple, a few days a week where you go to school. So I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so he, so I ended up coming home. But the good news is I, use, I was able to use that time to just chill. But like I said, I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried. I'm, I'm like nervous that what if I get worse somehow? I mean, so far I've been fine just to tickle my throat and I'll bring cough, cough drops with me for work. But I can't miss it on their day. You know, as much as I don't always like my job, I can't, I don't want to miss work. And I don't want to have to call them and be like, hey, I'm still sick. Apparently it got worse. You know, I feel like, oh my god, what if they don't believe me? What if they don't trust me? What if they think I'm just trying to get out and going to work? I mean, although I'm a pretty good, you know, and I volunteered to come in on Wednesday. And tomorrow, as long as I don't get worse, and I do go in tomorrow, I'm probably going to, um, like, ask for going in on Tuesday. You know? But anyway, enough about that. I just wanted to, you know, give you the form on why I might, I, my voice sounds really strained, more strained than usual. So, anyway, let's see. Well, let's first talk about what I'm currently reading. If I can find that book in all this pile. Where is that book? Well, well, let's just start with this book. This is the book we're reading for class. Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. And if you're unfamiliar, it's basically a group of 29 people. Um, and they are on their way from... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. They are on their way from somewhere to go on a pilgrimage to Canterbury. And they stop at this tavern, and the tavern bartender guy is like, Alright, how about this? Since there's so many of you, why don't you, as you go along this journey, why don't you each tell a story, and someone will judge, and whoever and whoever tells the best story will get a free meal, and everyone else will like have to pay for it. So it's a bunch of these guys, so it's a story within a story, and all these people are telling all these different stories. And the first one is about this knight, and like, the, um, the knight is telling the story about these two knights that are in love with this girl, both in love with this woman, and somehow I don't, like, I really look forward to when we actually talk about that, each of these stories, these stories. <laughs> That's what happened in that one video I did recently. Um, but anyway, I look forward to when we, each of us, when we talk about the stories as we go through them. Because then I'll understand them better. And, um, but from what I know, like I said, the two, the two guys, somehow, one of them ends up banished. And then the other one ends up in jail. And then, like, they are reunited again. Like, one of them... The one who was banished returns to their country of Athens, disguises himself, changes his appearance and everything, becomes invaluable. And the other one shows up and recognizes him. And they decide they're going to fight for her. You know, who and whoever survives gets the girl. And my only problem with these stories is I always look at them through modern eyes. So it's like, I get kind of annoyed by stories like that, when it's like, the girl has no say. She's all hunky-dory about it, and then even if she didn't like them at any point, it doesn't matter. You know, and the girls are always so insipid and dumb in these historical stories, you know. And I, I always forget that, well, it's a certain time period, and girls were made to be kind of what we would consider dumb and obedient. So it's, but... It's still interesting, you know, um, but, you know, it's not something I would have read on my own, obviously. In fact, I had a copy of this book, but then I got rid of it because I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to read this book. Who cares? I'm never going to read it. And then, lo and behold, I decided to take this class, and this is one of the books we're supposed to read. It's like, yay! Um, I also started reading... Revival by Stephen King. And as I said in a previous video where I talked about the books I got from the library, um, this is kind of breaking my 
my rule here where I don't like getting super long books from the library because they take so long for me to read, especially Stephen King. But I, um, yeah, um, Jess reads, this is one of her favorite Stephen King books. Um, so I decided, and I saw it there, and I was like, you know, what the heck. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And plus all the other books, I'm getting them really quickly. You know, so, like, I got through Blood and Sand, which is a Spartacus retelling. And I have that over there. That one, which was kind of interesting, um... I gave that one four stars on Goodreads. And it was felt, at first, mostly it felt like a generic YA books book. A lot of cliches and stuff. But then, when I get to the end, I was pleasantly surprised. I liked the ending. I mean, it was a sad, tragic ending, but it was still a very good ending. And, you know, I kind of knew part of what was going to happen with that ending. But, I mean, considering it was a Spartacus retelling, and I don't, I'm not familiar with Spartacus, but, um, they go to Pompeii, to put it that way. And so I kind of knew it was coming. But then there was another part of it that I was surprised by. But I liked it. I mean, at the same time, it was kind of it was sad and tragic. But then at the same time, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe the author did that. Now, it's going to be a total cop-out if it turns out in the second book that what happened is, like, taken back. Like, oh, just kidding. We did this, but, oh no, everything's fine now. It's like, oh, we, but we take it all back, you know. Yes, we did this, but guess what? It's not really the case kind of situation. And it would, it would, I would have very mixed feelings. But on the one hand, I'd be like, my fangirl heart would be like, oh, yay. But then another part of me would be like, no, why'd you do that? You were, you're supposed to break my heart and rip it in half and stomp on it. And then with this one, you, it's like you totally... You take, you're like, I, I don't know, I can't think of another way, to, another metaphor for it, but, um, <coughs> <coughs> I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't be doing this video, I thought I could, but, with my voice and everything, but, I mean, I'm still doing it, obviously, I'm still going to continue with this, I'm not going to stop here, by doing it, but, I mean, I shouldn't have started in the first place. Um, let's see, where's that other one? Oh, there it is. And then I also decided, because this is a book I've had for a long time, it was a very similar story to Shadow of the Forest, where I had been meaning to read it, and I've had it for, I got it years ago, and I intended to read it, but I never got around to it. And then, I don't know why, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly like The Daughter of the Forest, where someone inspired me to read it, where, like, someone brought up the book, it was just one of these things where... I knew it was a book that had been sitting there, had it unread for a while, for a long time. And I, I attempted to start earlier, like last month or something, and I just never picked it up. And then last night, I was like, you know what, I need to pick it up. <coughs> Hate it when that human happens. Like I said, this was not a good time to do this video, but I was inspired, I was kind of inspired to do it, so, um, I think, I think I blinked. And then I was like thinking, you know what, I need to just pick it up and read it, because if I don't, then I never, I might never will, or it might be another several months or years before I decided to pick it up again. So I picked it up and I am on chapter, I started reading, I think I started reading chapter eight, no chapter seven, I started reading chapter seven. Um, it is basically about this American woman who comes to the UK and live with some relatives for a while, her aunt and uncle, and she is caught between two men, I mean, caught between three men, um, and, like, she comes to, okay, rewind, so, this American girl who comes to the UK to 
try to find herself. It's a soul searching kind of journey. And then she ends up, of course, being caught between um, three guys and a ring, an English aristocrat, aristocrat, crat, and a perfect American gentleman and a sense of expatriate. But then, of course, not only is she caught between three guys, but it has a bit of a Mean Girls kind of situation where there is a lady that is kind of, you know, trying to manipulate our um, our heroine and mess with her a little bit. Like she, the, when I read on the back, the little brief sentence about it, it made me think of Regina George and Mean Girls. Like she's like the Kania of the story. Doesn't she look a little like Anne Hathaway though? In this picture. She looks like she reminds me of Anne Hathaway a little bit. And I am also almost done with the story life of AJ Fickery. Now, as I started reading this, at first I was thinking, I'm not gonna like this book. Sky is kind of mean and very cynical and judgmental of books. But it's actually a very heartwarming story. It's very cute, very sweet. Um, this guy, this bookstore owner, his wife has died. And he's really struggling, you know, he's grieving, and the store is not doing well financially. And, um, and he runs into in, um, someone, but then, and he ends up losing his most prized possession, a rare collection of Poe, Poe's poems that is, that is worth a lot. But then, he ends up, like, some package them. Serious package, a human sized package, is delivered at his doorstep. And his life starts to change. He even gets a new, a new love of his life. Yeah. And it's just a very heartwarming, very cute story. And also kind of inspired me to pick up that I need to pick up. No! No, don't do that. Um, pick up. Oh, I am trying not to let this come into more than one video, but I might have to. Um, the Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. Um, this is a book I picked up at the used bookstore and I have been meaning to check it out. And, um, so I, you know, now that I read this book, well, I am not finished with it yet, but now that I've been reading this book, I have had the desire to pick up this one, which I think it's like about a traveling bookshop um, in Paris, in France, obviously. Like it's a bookshop on a boat barge or something. But I I want to read more books that whether they're about bookshops or writers, like authors or or something. I want to read more books about that kind of stuff because. You know, as a reader, you can't help but be kind of interested in stories about bookshops and other writer, other writers and readers. So I want to read that one. Plus, it's another book that takes place in France. And I love books that take place in France. Because I'm no different than everybody else. I love the idea of France. So I'm going to finish this one up next. Um, this is just a bad idea. Maybe I should just, you know what I, what I should probably do after, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update, I'm going to finish this out and then I think I'm just going to make a list of all these books I have here and organize it better because it's, this video was going to be too long. Um, I'm also currently, I start last night, I started reading this book, um, Five Kingdoms Sky Raiders. It's the first, it's the first book. It's a series, a middle grade series. Um, and I heard Reagan talk about this book, how much she loved the series. No, I think she's currently reading or was reading it, reading the series. And I remember I'd seen it at the bookstore, at the library. So I decided to check it out. So I, I checked out this book. It's by Brandon Hall. Um, it's one of those portal, I think it's a portal fantasy. Um, 
I haven't got very far in it, so I don't have any opinions on it. I mean, I don't have a lot of, you know, any strong opinions for, about it. Um, from all I'm, so far, all I, is this, Cole, this kid Cole and his friends, um, on Halloween night, they're exploring the supposed, the local haunted, you know, local spook house, haunted spook house thing, and they get kidnapped by these weird people. Like, all the, all the kids get kidnapped. And... That's really all I've read so far. So I was starting to fall. I had taken um, some medicine for my cold last night. And I was going to start to fall asleep at that point. So I didn't get very far. Um, but yeah, so far it's still cute. It's fun. Like I said, I, I enjoy, you know, fun little mini gradients. Or I've been getting more into those. Like I loved Nevermore. That was so fun. And... Um, I'm also still kind of reading The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, this is driving me crazy. I should not have just introduced this video. Um, it's the second book of the trilogy. I'm still reading it. It's still taking me a while to read because, um, I can't bring any of my bigger books with me to work because I don't have a locker. You know, I'm only, I only get a, and I only get a 15 minute break, so there's no point. But, you know, in case, like, I have to stay a little longer and wait for my ride, I like to have a book with me. And, like I said, it's partly because I want to be like, hey, I don't just spend all my time on my phone, thank you very much. I actually read books. So, but it's kind of hard when you, when you only get 15 minutes and you're trying to make sure you get back in time. And, of course, you have to clock in and the break room is is a little bit far from the, um, from the, um, you know, where the clock in the machine. So I kind of, you know, it's just, it's a very tricky, and plus I want to eat, you know, my little snack and everything, and then it's like, sometimes I'll have the TV on or other people will be in there, so it's, it's very hard for me to do any reading, but I have done a little bit of reading during that time. So I need to get back into this one. But I also want to get back into Robin Hobbs' Royal Assassin as well. Um, okay, so this video is going to turn into... Originally, I was going to share with you guys all these books I had here that I was thinking about reading. But the video is going to be too long. And... Let me adjust this stupid sunlight. Um, the video was going to be too long. And it's also very hard for me to film a video and talk in a video on my nose and be like my sicknesses. So I think I will still attempt to make another video where I talk about all the books I'm thinking about reading or the books I'm thinking about bringing with me to this our most recent trip or whatever. Um, oh, by the way, I did try to do Victober and read some spooky books. Like I read the Graveyard book, my new Gaiman. Um. I was going to, I read half of Dawn, um, The Girl Who Drank the Moon, but then I DNF that because it was, just, it was too long and I was starting to lose interest in that one. And, and I also read Evelyn Hugo, but that one I already had from before. Um, and I also started reading The Shining by Stephen King, and Revivals and another Stephen King book. But, um, you know, his books are super long, as you guys know if you're familiar with Stephen King at all. So it's, well, I can't, unless I only focus on the book, then that's not gonna, I'm not gonna finish that in like 30 days. And then I also, like I said, I tried to do Victober as well, so I was gonna read Middle March for Victober. Um, but, you know, I was gonna also read, there was other books like, um, like I said, <coughs> Like I said, I started reading Portrait of a Lady, which I think is Victorian literature, and I was going to read some Dickens, and I have a lot of classics here, but it just, it just kind of fell through, and, you know, the other reason why I wanted to do this video is I kind of wanted to share that I think, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do team years anymore. Like, I try new, and I never follow through with it. I'm no different than a lot of booktubers to where I just don't, I never follow them. I mean, I read maybe a few, the first 
few books, but then all of a sudden I get inspired to read other books or like books that I just bought. I feel the urge to read or I feel the pressure to read like right then. So I might not do TBRs anymore. I mean, I probably won't. I mean, I don't know. But anyway. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm currently reading. Um, like I said, I was going to talk about some other books, but I don't want this video to get too long. So um, I will do another video where I talk about the books I'm thinking about reading. And I will talk to you all later. I hope, as always, you are enjoying your reading. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all later. Alright, bye.